everyone. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about data collection and it's a little section from my book, AI Powered Pedagogy Redefining Education. It comes from chapter five. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about understanding data collection practices, then please keep on watching. Okay, so in my book in chapter five, I've got a few questions that we should ask ourselves so that we can actually understand data collection practices. And this is in chapter five in my book. So I have a figure here and I've got five questions that we could really ask ourselves when we're evaluating any AI digital tool, any educational technology tool, in fact, so that we can keep students' data safe and protected. So the first question that we should really be asking ourselves in terms of data collection is, what types of student data are collected by this tool? And this includes academic performance, demographic information, and other relevant data. And so when you're using any kind of tool, we have to ask what types of student data are actually collected. That's the first question. The second question is, how is that data that's collected by the AI tool used? So determine if the data is solely for learning or is it actually used for research, marketing or other purposes? So that second question about once the AI tool is collecting your data, how are they going to use that data? The third question is who has access to that data that the AI tool is collecting and identify if the data is shared with any third party companies or organizations. So that's really important. Another question that we have to ask. The fourth question we have to ask about data collection is how is the data secured? So understanding the methods used to protect the data from unauthorized access. What does the AI tool company do to really protect that data and keep it secure? And then that last question that we should be asking in terms of data collection is what measures are in place to protect the data from breaches. So once a breach happens, what is the risk management? What are the strategies to protect the data from those breaches? So explore specific security protocols I talk about and safeguards that are implemented. So they're the kind of five questions we should be asking in terms of data collection. And I'll just go through them again. One, what types of data is collected? Two, how is that data used? Three, who has access to that data? Four, how is that data secured? And five, what security measures are in place to protect that data from breaches? So I hope you found this video useful. I think it's important that we do consider and understand data collection practices of different AI tools. We do want to protect people's data and also comply with data privacy regulations around the world. Thank you so much for watching this week and joining me. If you have any questions, please pop it in the comment section below. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye.